tell me? Yeah. And, 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 and like procedurally, right? Like the same thing happens rules wise, but mm -hmm. it can be I mean, tough I'm to probably wrong. I'm not very good with the rules. Like I frequently call judges in tournaments to ask them how things work. All right, looks like we're underway here. So we've got okay. Niles. Ooh, that's a good one. Tolpengrud versus Mike Sigrist here. You talked about Mike a minute ago. And again, we have a game three for top eight here. So this is a big one uh, for both of these players. Okay, and, and this is game three? And this is a game three, yeah. So we have a nice start here for Mike. He's got an Akron Skyguard on his turn two. Nothing for Niles on his, though. Interesting. Playing it safe, just angers away, just a sky guard. Oh, interesting. He must not have had any other ways to deal with it and felt like if that thing got out of hand that it could get out of anger range or something. I think usually you let him get one turn. One more at least, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I'm pretty greedy, you know. I am. I mean, I at least want to get two cards out of it or at least try yeah, to. Yeah, I mean, this is just the kind of spot where anger is going to kill almost any three drop in the game. Right. So unless, if you leave your mana up, it's pretty unlikely they're going to go for something like Chosen by Heliod. Right. And, I mean, if they do, they do. It's not the end of the world. I mean, it could be bad, but I think I would take the risk. Sure. Wow, especially with, with Forgeborn Oriads in hand, where if he just happens to, like, not do something, you can kind of get him. There's also a, a, the argument that he might have wanted to clear the way so that he could play his Forgeborn Oriads here. Sure. I mean, I haven't seen his hand, but I don't know. I mean, it's just passing on a lot of value and anger there. Oh, here's, a, here's an interesting decision. Here's a tribute with Oracle of Bones. I always just let him do yeah, it. Yeah, cast whatever you have. Yeah, bring it on. I don't even know if you have anything, but I know that I can ping that for one if you don't, so I'm, I'm not going to make that a 5-3. Exactly, and in this case, it's Magma Spray to take down the Forgeborn Oriads, which is kind of interesting because he wouldn't have, been, have the mana to do both of those. Sure, and I mean, I think that was the right play, but imagine if he still had the anger around now. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I mean, the game might be a little different. I think I still like going for at least a couple of cards, though. Like, a lot of times people just curve out. You're going to be able to anger away most three drops, too. So I don't think I'm the greediest with those, yeah. but I do, <laughs> I do try to get my value. Well, I'm not greedy, like, with draft decks because I want to have a good deck every time. I am greedy in a game in a spot like that because anger can do so much more. I mean, you're sitting at 20, right? Like, yeah. yeah, and it's attacking for one. Mm -hmm. And they can kill virtually any three drop in the game. I don't see a reason to kill just their Chrome Skyguard. They're just right. their one one of Chrome Skyguard with my anger. Okay, so we have some blocks. Wow, coordinated assault as well. And all of a sudden, things are getting pretty out of control here for for Niles. Is he's taking a ton of damage here? Mike gets to. He's really got that Oracle of Bones pretty nice. Like he's yeah. kept it on the battlefield against the Forgeborn Oriads, and he's got it into a, uh, an attack and. Use coordinated assault to kill uh, one of his opponent's and creatures. And don't get me here. wrong, games go different ways. Like we see a Nyxborn shield mate. If that gets played on the sky guard, it's out of anger range. Mm -hmm. Though, totally. though we could have still gotten some value out of the anger by killing these other creatures potentially. All right, here's read the bones for Niles. And uh, is it Nils? It might be Nils. I anyway, have no idea. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure either. But this is going to get uh, pretty interesting here because yeah. he's down to seven off of this read the bones. I mean, is this a desperation play from him? Yeah, I mean, you have to cast it. He's probably not going to win this game without reading. So now he's just seeing what he can find. I think he found a Forgeborn Oriads number two here, which would be pretty decent to take out the Oracle, but doesn't do anything against the Skyguard, which is already, what, two, four, five power creature? He needs to also have Feast, I think. Okay. I mean, I don't think he does, but if he had a Feast, he'd be in pretty good shape. Yeah. He is just getting ran over here. He's got a thought seize in his hand too. Very awkward for for Nils here. Yeah, he can't cast that and he no. And that's it. Mike Sigrist. Looks like he's gonna be in the top eight as well. You know, none of these guys are mortal locks, but very, very high percentage yeah. chance here after improving to 13 and 2 during our Swiss portion. Yeah, Sigrist, I'm pretty sure, is an old school player. Mm. That name rings a bell to me. 